Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I am here with Azarian. And Azarian is uh, seeing what fits him and what doesn't fit him. We're actually going through all these clothes here, and they're preemie clothes. So we're trying to see what fits him and doesn't fit him before we decide to do go to the next step. And before I took this that little outfit off him, I wanted to show you how cute it looks. So we actually found him at an outfit that fits him. Yes, it's green. Yes, I don't like it. But I guess the blue is going to have to trump the green for right now, even though it doesn't. But um, we really don't have a lot of outfits for this little guy. And it has a... I had a, um, a onesie that actually had the same colors that this little romper set had. So... And it looks really cute in there. I love those little feet. Look at those little feet. Look at those little feet. I love this foot. I love both feet. Let's get the cute little feet. It's like, Mom, stop touching my feet. I'm sleeping here. So, I think he does need a smaller body. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find him a smaller body, but we will be in the works to look for him. For a smaller body, but in the meantime, I need to... It's because he just has such a small head, and his limbs are really small, so I think a smaller body would be better for him. But in the meantime, he needs some clothes that at least fit him. Um, right now, he's like that size of like a 17-inch baby, but I think what he really needs to be is closer to like a 15-inch baby. Because of the size of his head. So, um... I think that will definitely, you know, a couple of inches smaller would definitely do him justice. Um, and I think that he needs, like, a f his, his legs to be a little bit, you know, towards the front a little bit more. So, I'm not sure, not sure if there's a body out there for him. So, in the meantime, we're just going to leave him on this body until we can find the right one for him. And I'm not really that much in a rush because we have, um, you know, I have other babies that need bodies too. But we're really in the process of wanting to move and um, we really don't want to be spending, you know, money that we don't need to be spending right now I don't I would rather wait until after we move and find a home that we really like and then buy the babies a body so I think that's basically what's gonna happen um, I was thinking about selling some reborns that I had put away um, I'm kind of thinking like because I really I took them out I was gonna sell them and I fell in love with them all over again so you know, I've really been kind of breaking away from the whole reborn thing and heading more towards the silicone babies. But there's no reason to not have reborns in your collection, you know. It just needs to be a different, a different way. Like, um, you know, especially if we're going to have a new home and more room and have like a whole... You know, um, there's just so many different ways I can display a Reborn. Like, you can display them so you can see them and you don't have to touch them all the time. You can have them in a, in a separate room so you can look at them. Or you can have them in the nursery. I haven't quite decided how I want to do them. You can have them where you have one uh, crib for the uh, Reborns, one for the silicone babies. You can do it that way. Um, I just, I don't know, sometimes I feel like it, when there's too many babies, I feel overwhelmed. But I feel that maybe the ba the Reborns, I mean, even if I had them on a shelving unit or in a glass case or just something where I could still love them and see them and enjoy them. Um, you know, I saw Jayla today and I was going to sell her and I saw her and fell in love with her all over again. I said, I can't sell her. So, um, there's certain babies I don't mind selling. Uh, and then there's other babies I do mind selling. And if you love a baby, you 
should keep it until you're ready to sell it. Like, Joshua, I'm ready to sell him. I'm going to sell him. Like, I just don't think you should sell a baby until you're ready. And I was trying to downsize babies so we could sell. I mean, before we move, but... You know, the more I think about it, I can't... You know, I, I feel like I'm trying to, like, erase my past to start a future. And I don't think I have to erase my reborn past to start a future. Because my reborns are my future. And my silicone babies are my future. Um, the babies that I'm done with, I'm okay with. Jayla, all she needs is a new body. And I think if I, when I find her the right body, even if I have to spend $50... To find five different bodies for her. When I find her the right body, I think I'll be happy with her. I think I will be... In, I enjoy her. She just... She's a beautiful doll. She was painted nicely. She's got Angora hair. I, I just... I can't... I can't let her go. And then my twin boys, I was going to sell them. And I took them out of the box and fell in love with them all over again. And I'm just like... You know, with Christmas and Grayson, and they just, they look at you and they go, Don't sell me, Mommy. <laughs> so, why are you selling me, Mommy? So, I know they're not talking to me, because I'm not crazy like that, but, you know, when you look at them, and those are the way you, f that's the way you feel. Like, you're just not ready to let them go. Um, I am not as much into... The reborns, I feel like I can't bond with them as much, but I can hold them in my hands for five minutes. I can look at them and cuddle them for five minutes. I can give them a bath and bond with them. I can change them. I can, and then you can have the time with the silicone babies and enjoy them. I mean, because he's not on a he's on a cloth body, I can't enjoy him as much as I can with a full body silicone baby. But that doesn't mean I can't find things about him I don't love. I can't love him the way he is. He's cute. He is a cute baby. So I just uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I should do and I don't want to make any mistakes right now that I will regret. So I've decided that those three babies I am not selling. I was going to sell. I am still selling these babies. Th this baby here. That is for sale. This little guy right here. He's not for sale. Sorry. He's my little kitty man. He wasn't even considered to be for sale. I love him. And then this baby right here. This baby was planned to be for sale from the beginning. Um, I don't like... I personally don't like green eyes. But this baby was supposed to be a custom. I bought it to sell... Um, what I do when I make, when I make babies to sell, I buy kits I don't personally like, so I can sell them. <laughs> That's the whole point of that. Uh, I try not to get kits that I love, because then I want to keep them. Um, I also have a limited edition kit that I, um, bought that I originally wanted, but then I realized how much I didn't want it. So I will, I've been debating whether to just sell it as the kit or to paint it and sell it. So I don't know. I think I might wait and wait, get better, and then paint that kit when it actually becomes more um, collectible, worth more money, and then sell it. So... Um, that would be after we, um, move. And that's really it. So we're just gonna, we're just trying to figure out, trying to keep ourselves more occupied than yesterday. Yesterday was a bad day. We didn't know what to do. So we were bored. And we're trying to kind of do something today. More productive. So, we're going to start with this and see what else we can do for the rest of the day. And dinner has to be made soon. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for listening to me, Blab. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.